this time, this guy saved the day. So high five, Asher. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about the soft top. I've had it for almost a year and I thought it would be a great time to give you an update, especially with some rumors going around that the soft tops are coming undone on top. So I thought I'd clue you in on what's happening with mine. So stay tuned. Buckle up, buttercup. I cannot believe it, but I'm just one month shy of my one year anniversary with Buttercup. And one of my first videos I ever posted about the Bronco was a soft top review video because I was bombarded Barded with questions about the soft top because that was in the day of should I switch from a hard top to a soft top to get my Bronco so I just made a real honest review about the soft top and it was really cool because Bronco 6G ended up featuring the video and Motor One picked it up and wrote an article about the video so it was really one of those videos that kind of put Buckle Up Buttercup on the map which was really really awesome so I thought it'd be a great time to give you an update about the soft top the quality of it Am I still happy with it? Would I order another one again? But before I address that, I wanna answer a question that I'm asked all the time and I keep saying I'm gonna do a video on it, I'm gonna do a video on it. Well, I haven't done a video on it, so I thought I would just answer the question. I get asked all the time, how do you care for your soft top? How do you clean it? How do you keep it black and without the spots? And Because I've had issues with trying to find a product that would clean the soft top because I send it, I take it off road. She's not a pavement princess, she's covered in mud. And a lot of times, you know, I go through this muddy, mucky water and even after washing the soft top, I had like a leopard print on it. And if you watch some of my earlier videos, you've heard me complain about that. Like I cannot get the soft top clean. Well, I'm happy to announce that I have found something to clean the soft top and it looks good as new. And it's something so easy. First, I was thinking about doing Dawn dish soap, but then with my wrap and you know, the pain, I'm like, I don't know if I really wanna do Dawn dish soap. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try something I've tried before, but I'm gonna do it with a twist. My soft top cleaning regimen now consists of Chemical Guys Convertible Top Cleaner. I've used it in the past and it didn't work, but there's a trick to this. If you're gonna go mudding or you have, you know, a really dirty soft top, spray it on there, but then get a soft bristle brush and just kind of go in circles over the soft top where you know it's really muddy or dirty and then rinse it off and then you can wash it again with like regular soap and water if you want to and i'm telling you what adding that soft bristle brush really changed the looks of the soft top it looks good as new it was the first time ever i'm like oh my gosh it's actually clean it looks black so i wanted to let you guys know that information they also sell a protectant that you can apply afterwards and it'll help protect and keep things um, off the soft top so if you're interested in those items i will put the amazon links in the description below and you can try it for yourself next let's talk about the quality of the soft top I will hands down 100% say it is built for tough. And I put it to the ultimate test, not once, not twice. Three times, four times, I've lost count. I have ran this baby into the garage multiple times with the top half back. Yes, I make the mistake and I run into the garage with this up and I cause a mess made a horrible sound and did damage to my house, but the soft top has remained intact and okay. If I remember correctly, I think I've hit the garage at each level of like my lift. So before I had a lift, when I had the two inch lift and when I had the four inch lift. And sadly, I did not announce this on social media because I'm at the point now where I have done it a couple times. Like I'm not gonna keep announcing that I'm that big of an idiot and sometimes forget that I have it half back. I did it since I've had my four inch lift and that has been a huge fear of mine. This time I was scared because I was a lot higher. I was a lot taller than I was before. I actually had to deflate my rear tires completely. They only had about two PSI in them. And then I backed up. I had to, you know, pull down the soft top. I, I had to do all kinds of crazy stuff. I was home by myself, no kids, no help, no neighbors were home, but I got it out and I looked over the top and it was fine. Thankfully, I put one of my favorite accessories to use, my compressor, and I got my tires aired back up and I was good as new. So the quality of the soft top when it comes to running into things, it's great. As I've driven it for almost a year, the noise doesn't even phase me anymore. Like I said in my previous video, it is noisier than what a regular typical vehicle would be. 
but it's a convertible. For a convertible, it is not bad. I've never had a rattle. I've never had issues with it being hard to close, hard to open, and I have never had any leakage issues. The only leaking problem I would say I had was not really soft top related. It had to do with my windows. Now, if you note that when you open up the door, the window kind of goes up and down when you close it and when you open it. Sometimes you may have to do a window relearn because when you close the door, the, the window doesn't go down like it's supposed to and then go back up. Now, one time that happened to me, I didn't realize it. I washed the car and there was water inside, but it was because of the window doing that. If you have run into that, or even if you haven't run into something like that, I do have a video about how to do a window relearn. I can post that. So that way you know how to fix it. It's very easily fixed. The only other thing that I would relate to a leakage issue is when it's raining and you have to roll your window down to check the mail or go through a drive through There is a stream of water that will drain from the soft top right into the Bronco onto your legs. It is a huge inconvenience because, you know, I live in the thunderstorm state. But thankfully, I'm not always having to roll the window down to deal with that water dripping in. But I know a lot of friends that it's one of their biggest pet peeves that when it's raining and and they have to put the window down, this big old waterfall of water falls on their leg. Something that I've noticed recently is one of the panels of the soft top is kind of coming loose. Now it's sticky in there. I could push it back up and it'll stay up for a period of time. It's not something that's so low where it's like hitting my head. Now, if I was taller and it was hanging low, it may be annoying, but I think it's probably something I could just take to the dealer. They could fix it. And honestly, maybe I could get some glue or something to glue that back up. People have asked me, hey, in the winter with snow, what, what's your review about the soft top? I'm like, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't have winter here in Florida. However, I am from the Midwest and, you know, I know all about snow and ice. And would I get a soft top if I lived in that area? I think I still would. Now, I have seen people that live basically in the North Pole that were getting like inches and I think feet of snow. And I think their soft top failed because like it flips up from the wind and snow is coming in. I think that's what ended up happening. Um, now, if I live at the North Pole, would I get a soft top? Mm, probably not. I'd probably get a hard top. So overall, would I get a soft top again? 100% yes. In fact, on my Badlands order, I do have the soft top. The convenience of it far outweighs any noise issue or any issue I've ever had with it. It is so nice to just be able to flip it half back although I try not to do it half back, but taking the windows out and everything, it's super, super easy. I have had people ask me, would you take the soft top completely off again? I have done it once. Would I do it again? Probably not. The looks of it is amazing. I love the look of no top on at all, but it is a pain in the booty to take off and to put back on. So I would not ever do that again. I hope that answers most of your questions about the soft top. If you have other questions or specific questions that you want answered, feel free to comment on the video below. I'm very responsive and I'll definitely get you an answer about the soft top. But I am 100% team soft top. It is built for tough. Trust me, I put it to the test. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I do wanna give a shout out to viewer Kendry for sending in the microphones. I appreciate that. If you wanna support our channel, you can find us on Patreon and make a donation. Also check out our website, buckleupbuttercuptv.com for special promo codes for companies because who doesn't like to save money? And then of course, follow us on all the social medias. I'm always posting pictures and reels and just tips and tricks for you. So until next time, guys, buckle up buttercup. No joke. I was putting the Bronco away after recording my soft top review video and I was backing up and I was just going to back in because I was pulled in the driveway. And then Asher was, ha he was just out here. He just got out of the pool and he started, what were you doing? Your soft top was back. He's jumping up and down. Your soft top, your soft top. Guys, look at this. I had it half back and I was getting ready to back in the garage. This is stuff I cannot make up. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's just life. I was not thinking that my top was half back because I have the rule. Don't have your top half back, even for a video, obviously. So anyways, I am a human being. I do make mistakes, but this time, this guy saved the day. So high five, Asher. It's freaking Matt.